Dear fellow Ghanaians, um, please listen to this extract from the Rockefeller Foundation um, article. It's actually on the website, um, a PDF document. And this is the outline. One, hypothesize a simulated global outbreak Required steps, various phases, overall timeline, and expected outcomes. Rocky Feller, Lockstep, 2010. Create a very contagious but super low mortality rate virus. To create, eh? To fit the needed plan. And they have SARS stroke HIV hybrid research train. So you see, it is not a purely viral thing. It's a hybrid research stream created at Fort Detrick Class 4 lab from 2008 to 2013 as part of a research project to find out why coronavirus spread like wildfire in bats but have an extremely hard time infecting humans, hence the four HIV insects, uh, also known as the missing key to infect the humans, a stool receptor in brackets. Create a weaponized version of the virus with a much higher mortality rate as a backup plan, ready to be released in phase 3, but only if needed. And they have, in brackets, SARS, HIV, MERS, Middle Eastern Respiratory um, Disease or something. A weaponized tribrid strain created at Fort Detrick Class 4 Lab in 2015. Okay? Transport the research stream to a different class 4 lab, National Microbiology Lab in Winnipeg, Canada, and have it stolen and smuggled out by China. Wow. On purpose, and taken to China's only class 4 laboratory, Wuhan Institute of Virology in Wuhan, Wuhan China, for added plausible deniability and to help cement the wanted backup public script as something to fall back on if needed. Primary script being its natural backup script being that China created it and released it by accident. That's why we said pandemic or accident according to plan. Found all the taking the talking heads, Fauci, Bergs, Tedros, and agencies, WHO, uh, NIA, CDC, UN, that would be involved with pandemic response prior to the planned release of the research stream to control the wanted script throughout the operation. Create and fund the vaccination development and rollout plan so it's capable of being rolled out on a global scale. Brigade's Decade of Vaccines, Global Vaccine Action Plan 2010 to 2020. Create and fund the vaccination verification certification protocols, digital ID, to enforce, confirm the vaccination program after the mandatory rollout is enacted, Gates ID 2020. Simulate the lockstep hypothesis just prior to the planned research strain release, using a real-world exercise as a final war game to determine the expected response timelines and outcomes, Gates and that's event 201, October 2019. Release the research stream at the Wuhan Institute of Virology in itself and then blame its release on a natural scapegoat as the wanted primary script, the Wuhan wet market, November 2019. You see how this thing has been really captioned? This is mystery of iniquity, wickedness, cast in secrecy. Downplay the human-to-human -human transmission for as long as possible to allow the research strain to spread on a global scale before any country can lock down or respond to avoid initial infection. Can you imagine? No wonder the WHO, that's exactly what the WHO, WHO did. Downplay the human-to-human -human transmission for as long as possible to allow the research strain to spread on a global scale before any country can lock down or respond to avoid initial infection. Once a country has seed infection in place, lockdown, incoming, outgoing travel, but keep the transmission within the country spreading for as long as possible. 
Once enough people in a country or region are infected and not forced quarantines or isolation for that area and expand the lockdown regions slowly over time. Overhype the mortality rate by tying the recess string to deaths that have little to, to nothing to do with the actual virus to keep the fear and compliance at a maximum. If anyone dies for any reason and is found, they have COVID, consider they have COVID, consider it a COVID death. And if anyone is thought to of maybe have symptoms of COVID to assume they have COVID and consider it a COVID death. So this is what we have been hearing, that a lot of the deaths have been exaggerated. That's why the Americans are challenging the Chinese. The Chinese were not wrong. They were quoting the right figures. But this thing was bred and brewed in America by the Americans, by the depopulation agenda of the Gates uh, uh, and Tony Fauci uh, and the Rockefeller Foundation. So what they are counting in America, a lot of them has nothing to do with COVID-19. There are many people who have died of other diseases that have nothing to do with COVID-19, but have some of the symptoms, and they just branded all of them as COVID-19. That's why Anthony Fauci could stand and speak with confidence that there will be 200,000 uh, 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 deaths. Shame on him. Keep the public quarantined for as long as possible to destroy the region's economy. Can you see? Can you see? To destroy the region's economy, create civil unrest, break down the supply chain, and cause the start of mass food shortages, as well as cause people's immune system to weaken due to lack of interaction with other people, bacteria, uh, the outside world, uh, also known as or after the things that keep our immune system alert and alive. So this thing we are doing is actually making us susceptible to, 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 to diseases and weakening our immune system. That's why we should go out. They are joking. Then play and attack any potential treatments and continue to echo that only a cure is viable to fight this virus uh, uh, or, or, or also known as a vaccine. Continue to drag out the quarantine over and over and over again in two-week intervals. Hey! Causing more and more people to eventually stand up and protest to, or defy them. Eventually, hmm, God have mercy, eventually end the phase one quarantine once they get enough public pushback around June 2020. And publicists say that they still think it is too early to end isolation, but are going to do it anyways. Once the public go back to normal in back, back to normal in coast, wait a few weeks and then continue to overhype the recess strain mortality rate, August to September 2020, and combi combine it with the increase in deaths due to people dying from standard illnesses at a higher rate than normal due to having highly weakened immune systems for months of being in isolation to help further pad the mortality rate and help the upcoming phase two lockdown. Mm, so there's a phase two lockdown they are planning. Eventually enact phase two quarantines, October to November, on an even more extreme level and blame the protesters, mostly people who don't trust their governments already, mm, for the cause of, of the larger second wave. We told you so. It was too early. This is all your fault. Because you needed a haircut, your freedoms have consequences. Enforce the phase two quarantine at a much more extreme level, increasing the penalty for defiance. Replace fines with jail term. Deem all travels as non-essential. Increase checkpoints, including military assistance. Increase tracking, tracing of the population. Mandatory apps. Take over control of food gas large-scale shortages so that people can only get access to essential products services if they are first given permission keep the phase two lockdown in place for a much longer period of time than the phase one lockdown continuing to destroy the global economy further degrade the supply chain and further amplify the food shortages and alike quell and public Quell any public out outrage using extreme action and force and make anyone who defies them appear as public enemy number one
to those who are willing to submit. After a rather long phase two lockdown, six last months, roll out the vaccination program, vaccine certification, and make it mandatory for everyone, giving priority access to those that submitted from the start, and have those that are for it attack those that are against it, saying they are a threat to the cause of all. Say, huh? The problems, we, we can't go back to normal until everyone takes the vaccine. People define them as hurting our way of life and therefore are the enemy. Can you imagine? Can you imagine, fellow Ghanaians? Listen, no. Listen. If the majority of people go along with the agenda, then let those people enter the new system, new normal, while limiting the minority that defy the agenda's ability to work and travel. If the majority of the people go against agenda, then release the weaponized sars cum hiv cum MERS, tribrid strain as phase 3, a virus with a 30% plus mortality rate as a final scare to push the minority to quickly become the mi majority and give a final, we told you so, to those that didn't listen. And not the new economy model, Microsoft patent 0606 Zero six cryptocurrency system using body activity data, which is based on human behavior and willingness to submit to a version of Black Mirror's 15 million merits, using food, water, shelter, and other essentials as a weapon of enforcement of the new economic system. Basically, do what we want and get rewarded, gain credits, score, and gain more access to things you need to survive or go against what we want and get penalized. Those credits and those access to things we need to survive. This is recorded. Everything I've read to you, fellow Ghanaians, is what they have planned. And I'm passing it around for everybody to pass it around and hear what is being, has been planned. You can see everything that has taken place to date is right w uh, uh, within this document from Rockefeller Foundation that somebody uh, has been able to sneak out to us. And I've read it out because um, it is on the website. They may just take it out so nobody can go and get it again. So now I have it recorded so we can all listen to it, pass it around, and so that those who are saying it is all conspiracy theory can see. That's what the Bible means. The mystery of iniquity. It is cast in secrecy. And we are praying that this year, before the end of the year, God will expose all these wicked deals that they have cast in secrecy to, to, to put the world on their knees to get all of us vaccinated. That is the bottom line. That is the bottom line. God bless our homeland Ghana and make our nation great and strong. Bold to defend the cause of freedom and of right. Fill our hearts with true humility. Help us to cherish fearless honesty. Help us to resist oppressor's rule. We are resisting this oppression of Bill Gates and Tony Fauci. Yes. Your sorrows and the depopulation agenda. We are resisting them, and God is our helper. They will not succeed. I decree in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let God judge between them and us. They are, they are here to destroy humanity and put us in a panic mode and deceive us and turn the world upside down. The world doesn't belong to these wicked guys. No way. They will not have their way. God will have his way. And what I'm doing now is part of of what the church is supposed to do to resist them. He says, The mystery of iniquity worketh, but he that letteth, he that restrains them, shall continue to do so until they be taken out. Uh, and so, as long as the church of the Lord Jesus Christ is here, they will not succeed. Amen. Amen.